For decades now, my lab has been studying the humble fruit fly, also known as Drosophila. So you might ask why someone in the medical school spends so much time and effort working with fruit flies. And the answer is quite simple. Whatever we learn about the biology of fruit flies is quite relevant for human biology. Humans and fruit flies are both descendant from a common ancestor, an animal that lived hundreds of millions of years ago. It turns out that in many, if not in all cases, both species still rely on the same ancient cellular machinery for survival. In fact, thousands of fruit fly genes, one could say the majority of fruit fly genes and the proteins they produce, have relatives in human cells. When we make discoveries about fruit fly genes and proteins, we can often apply that information to humans. In a new study, my lab build a map that shows how thousands of proteins in a fruit fly cell communicate with each other. This is very important because proteins are the cell's labor force. They talk to each other constantly and channel vital information through vast and indeed complicated networks. So when the communication is good, uh, the cell is healthy. But when something goes wrong in that communication, the cell is not healthy and that can cause disease. In this particular diagram, we show how roughly 5,000 different proteins communicate. This is the largest and most detailed protein interaction map to date of a multicellular organism. And creating it took a tremendous amount of effort from many scientists. In fact, we combined talents from four different research groups and used a variety of tools, including bioinformatics and this magical mass spectrometer. So this map is, for me and my colleagues, a dream come true because it tells us how proteins communicate with each other in the cell. And this understanding is essential in understanding how disease is caused.